Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a Google Drawing and you are going to create a graphic organizer for the Emerging Technologies in the Horizon Report. So you need to have three different screens up first. You need to have just your drive up, um, drive.google.com. You need to have the um, 2013 K-12 Horizon Report which is linked on session three and you are going to need this third page down and these blue, um, different blue areas. That's what you'll need for this graphic organizer. And then you also need open your technology in my classroom page so I can show you, you can know how to embed it in your website. So let's go back over to my drive and we're going to start by just clicking on this red create in the upper left hand corner and you're going to go all the way down here to drawing and you're going to create your graphic organizer. The first thing we're going to do is title your drawing and you are going to say Emerging Technologies Graphic Organizer and OK. The, uh, the next thing you're going to do is share it with everyone so we can see your work when it's done. So private only to you? No, you want to change that to anyone with a link and save. Okay, and there is your link that you will um, link on your artifacts page, but we'll talk about that later. Now the first thing you need to do is just kind of orient yourself to your options here. This looks very much like a word processor, um, but it also acts like Smart Notebook a little bit. It also acts like the Inspirations Graphic Organizer that you should have already done. So these different things will be what you're using. So for this one, you're going to have an image and text for each one of the six Horizon reports. So let's go back over here to the Horizon report and see that the first one is cloud computing. So let me keep that in mind as I do this. So you're just gonna click on the text box and you're going to choose something for the middle Actually, let's make it a shape. So you can choose a shape for the middle. Let's do, um, let's do this one. So I'm gonna draw a shape, okay? And then you can fill it in, just like word art or like whatever. You can make it a different color. Um, so then we can just start typing and we're going to say um, emerging technologies per Horizon Report 2013 and you can do all the different things. You can align it to the center and this one to the center. Just play around with that however you want. You can change the color of your font by right here, the text color. Let's do yellow. There you can see it better. Okay, and then it shows up lines where you can center the whole thing. Um, that's up to you. You can also change lines and all of that. Now the first one was cloud computing but in a graphic organizer you need to connect things with lines and so we're going to select an arrow you can do curved whatever but I'm just going to do a line and it gives you the different circles that you can connect so I'm just going to click on that and click my line. If I, w I know I'm going to have six of these so if I want to put six lines out here right now at the same time I can Okay, and then I can move them when I need to. Now, for the um, six technologies, uh, you are going to have an image and you're going to have the text below it. So for cloud computing, if you wanna look before you start this and search for pictures and then put them in there, that is fine. Um, but if you, you can actually search right here on um, the Google Draw itself. So we're going to go to search and it's going to give me a Google search. I'm going to do cloud computing. Okay. And let's see. Let's choose this one, which is not really a very good one because it's just clouds, but um, it'll give you a good idea of what you can do. I want it to really be representative of cloud computing itself. So once I have the image on here, I can move it around. Okay, it shows me where I am in relationship to that. Then what I you have to do is 
also put a text box below it. So we're going to do text box and drag and drop. And then I'm going to type cloud computing. Um, if you want to do another shape like this, you can do that as well. That's up to you, however you want to do it. And then what I want you to do, and I'll show you, this makes it a lot easier if you want to move it around um, after this. If you will click on your text box, click, hold down control, click on the other one, it makes kind of like a group. And then if you right click, you can go down here to group. So that acts a lot like Smart Notebook. So now if you notice, I'm moving those things as a group and it makes it a lot easier. So we have cloud computing. We have mobile learning. Um, so I'm going to go up here again, do a search by mobile learning. Okay. And just choose whatever you decide. Okay. And resize. And you guys know how to do this now, so I will just do this one and then let you decide. Um, mobile learning. Okay, I'm going to group those again. Click on one, hold down control, click on the other one. Then do right click and group. And now those move as a group, okay? Okay, and you can make this as fancy as you want it. If you want to do something with um, the line, if you want to make it um, change the color, change the arrow, start, line color if I want to make them all red, whatever you want to do is fine. But make sure you have all six of them all the way around gotten from here. And then if you notice it says all changes saved in Drive and that does it automatically so you do not even have to worry about that. Um, so now I'm going to show you how to embed it in your Technology in My Classroom page, which is very, very simple now that it's in a Google Draw. Um, okay, so we're going to go back over here to My Technology in My Class, go up here to Edit Page, and click your cursor right where you want your drawing. Okay, so I want it down here right under Emerging Technologies. You won't have all this yet, but right here. And then click Insert, click Drive, and then you're going to go down here to Drawing. And then you're just going to double click on the drawing you have. And I would just leave it that size. You might want to change it a little bit later. Um, and we're going to turn the wrap on so your table of contents can be back over here. Okay, let's see how that looks. It might need to be a little bit bigger. Okay. So if you see, then that's embedded right there, and that's how you do it.